In life, sometimes, doing nothing is the right option. Many times in your life, you can confuse activity with productivity. Doing a lot of stuff doesn't always equal productivity in your life. Well, good morning and welcome to Time Out This Morning. My name is Jack Vint. I trust where you find yourself that you are well. And I'm literally standing in the felt here doing Time Out. And I want to make a statement this morning that may sound strange to you, but I'd love to hear your comments. So please write your comments, uh, right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. Now, in life, sometimes doing nothing is the right option. Now, I may hear you say, no, no, is that not an excuse for being inactive and lazy and procrastinating? It may be, but I'm not speaking about that. I want to speak about a specific time in your life, in my life, where doing nothing is the best option. I'm going to show you something, so don't go away. Now, I'm the type of person, my wife says, which knows me well, that when I have 20 things to do, I want to fit it into a time frame of where I actually only have time for 15. And you can see the problem there immediately. I run out of time. And then she says to me, you know, why don't you leave those things for tomorrow or the next day? Um, they won't go away. <clears throat> and she's right. But, you know, it's a default. And here is the statement I want to make. Many times in your life, you can confuse activity with productivity. Doing a lot of stuff doesn't always equal productivity in your life. As a matter of fact, some of the stuff that you and I do, if we postpone it for the next day or the next week or even the next year, it will not change our lives because it was just stuff that we felt we had to do because we grew up saying you need to stay active so that you can be productive. Now, I want to say again, uh, activity doesn't always equal productivity. And I think of that scripture in Psalm 46 verse 10. It, maybe you've read it before. It says, be still and know that I'm God. And that's an interesting scripture. It's almost like uh, it's the only scripture that ever says that. Be still. What does that mean? Cease from all your activities, Jack. Stop doing stuff and just be quiet and know God is there. Be still and know that I am God. It's almost like it's saying if you're not still, you won't appreciate who I am. Because you'll be busy with so much stuff that you think is productive. But it's just taking time in your life. And I really think there is a time, and I'm just speaking about a specific time, where it's important to be still and know that God is who He said He is. And I'm thinking, I'm reminded of... You know, 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 13 to 17. It's a tremendous chapter. You can read it. You know, where Elisha, one of the great prophets of the Old Testament, saw many miracles. Uh, you know, he was involved with the king of Aram, which was trying to attack Israel. And he would go to the king of Israel and tell him all the secrets that the king of Aram was planning to hijack him and ambush him. And then, of course, the king of Israel would get out of it. And the king Amram was getting frustrated. Who is telling my enemies all my plans? And then they said, it's that prophet Elisha. <laughs> He's the problem. And so he, he sent a big army against Elisha to capture him, to sort him out, take him out of the equation. And this is where the story starts. The, the morning that the, the servant of Elisha, he had a servant, woke up and he went out. He saw an army of people and horses surrounding and chariots surrounding the city where uh, Elisha and he were. They were. And so he rushed in and said, what shall we do? And um, Elisha was calm and he said this to him. Those are with, are, that are with us are more than those that are with them. Now, the servant couldn't understand that because he saw nobody with them. Uh, but he saw a lot of people that were 
against them, surrounding them. And then Elisha prayed this prayer. He said, Lord, open his eyes that he can see. And when he opened his eyes, the Lord opened his eyes, the servant saw the chariots and the army of God encircling them. And uh, he realized that that army was there oh, long ago, but he couldn't see it. And I feel many times that when we're busy, when we're busy with activities, we don't appreciate the presence of God around us. And even in crisis, we think, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to be busy. And yet God says, Jack, just be still and know that I'm God and that I've got this. It's about trust. It's about confidence that everything that's happened in your life up to now, whoever you are, wherever you are, God saw it when you were born. As a matter of fact, if I want to go before, God saw it before you were born. Uh, even born and he was sought even before your mother was born because he's God and so if God had that knowledge surely he knows what the solutions are for you and me and you and I in our lives so I want to encourage you sometimes doing nothing in your life is the best option be still God says and know that I am Lord my name is Jack Vint. You've been watching Time Out. God loves you. This has been an encouragement. Share it. Love to hear a comment of what you think of something that God's done for you. And I'm going to catch you next week.